Let's go up and set up our scene. So I'm going to right click on the cube and delete the default cube. Next with the camera, I'm going to right click on the camera and go Alt R and Alt G. Now this will reset the location and rotation. And I'm going to move the camera up. I'm going to change, click on the camera icon here on the right, click on orthographic. And I will also, whilst in the main menu, I'm going to press five. So my visuals go into orthographic mode. I'm going to go click seven to go into top down mode. Now, as we can see here, one of these boxes is one blender unit, which means that two boxes is obviously two blender units. What I want though, is I want to make the characters about 1.8 meters tall. So I'm going to go off 1.8 blender units. I'm just going to move the camera up a little bit because this red line, which is the X axis is going to be our kind of like our ground. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press N to bring up this panel. I'm just going to turn on my screencast keys. I'm going to put a tick box next to background images. I'm going to expand this, click add image. I'm going to open our image and these are the drawings. So let's just reposition this. I'm going to click on the rotation and I'm going to rotate it by 90 degrees. And so we can still see faintly where it is. I'm going to go for this character. So let's just play with it until we get him in a right size at about the right location. So I okay, can go just a smidgen bigger and holding shift, you can kind of, um, it moves in a less, um, what's that word? It doesn't move as harsh. Let's just use that. So now we've got our character set up. I might just move the camera to layer two. So I'm going to click on the camera, press M and click on two. And now our camera is on layer two. So if I click down here, beautiful. We are now ready to start creating our character.